Hello friends, I am Dr. Yashwan Joshi and I am the Vice President of Napkin. You already know that Napkin means National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrity Medicine. Today I will be talking to you about spirituality and religion and its impact on quality of life, particularly as by the concept of palliative care. This presentation has been prepared by Professor Rakesh Jaswal, who is a pranic healer and a teacher located in Haridwar. He is the secretary of the Napkin chapter of Uttarakhand. We have already spoken much about palliative care, so I will not take any time about the definition of palliative care and what is palliative care, you all understand. But just again to remind you, palliative care is basically a concept of teamwork where doctors, nurses, social workers and caregivers, the family members, they all matter a lot. It is their combined effort to give quality of life to the palliative care patients. Role of spirituality, it is an intrinsic and essential component of palliative care because we always talk about total care in our concept and we need to give them spiritual care also to the palliative care patients and the aim of talking about understanding spirituality that definitely increase the quality of life for both the patient and the family. Spiritual beliefs and practices can influence perceptions of pain and distress as well as quality of life among the advanced cancer patients. Tools of spirituality for better quality of life, self-realization, we will see what are these tools, we will just explain in brief. Connection with supreme consciousness that you can establish a WhatsApp system, WhatsApp chat with your God. Purification and achieve quality of supreme consciousness. Behave and inspire to every beings with attitude of supreme consciousness. Law of forgiveness, self-assessment, meditation, concentration and yoga nidra. Self-realization, how do you go to the top of the pyramid? Now, there are so many factors. If you are just money oriented, you just want to go up in the ladder of promotion and come to the top, then it is totally bhautik, you believe just in physical wealth. What about your mental wealth? Will the money only make you happy? The property is what you buy and what you have and what you purchase, that is going to bring you happiness, real happiness in your life. So that you must understand. A time must come in our life that who are we and why are we here? What are, what are we for? You start understanding yourself, that is called self-realization. And for that, of course, it may come all of a sudden, may not come at all throughout the life. I am not the body, I am not the emotion. I am one with the God. This is what, this was the response to a question given by Lord Shankaracharya. When he came to the bank of Nabda river and went to ashram, the Acharya asked the question, who are you? And that is where he said, I am Brahmasmi, I am the part of God. 
I am one with God. Upasana, that is keep praying, prayer, prayer with consciousness, prayer with true feelings coming from the heart and build a connection with God and that is what we are saying. So many people visit mosques, church, gurudwara, temples, they perform lots of rit rituals, they go to pilgrimage centers, lakhs of people, crores of people every year. Why? Because they have some sort of connection with the God. They have understood it or not, whatever it is. But in their mind, they want to go there because that brings some peace of mind. They feel happy. Law of forgiveness. This is very important and this has been written in almost all the shastras of any religion for that matter. Everyone, whether in Hinduism or Christianity or any other religion, they ask you to forgive the people. Because once you start forgiving automatically, that problem gets solved in your mind. Otherwise, it's a knot and you are struggling with the knot to solve it every time. It heals and empowers because forgiveness works with the energy of allowance and the law of love. When you forgive somebody who has hurt you, that means you have started understanding what is love and that makes you happy. The old energy of an eye for an eye keeps the vibration of an individual very low and therefore in a world riddled with fear and scarcity. Somebody had done something wrong and then you again want to do the same thing to him. That is what normally people think. Revenge, badla lana chahte hai. Particularly when someone hurts you, and then you hurt someone else, you just see this is what happens. But instead of hurting somebody, if you just forgive the people, then that brings kindness in your actions and then that makes you happy. You are cheerful, particularly during night when you go to bed, just forgive everybody, just pray for one minute or so. And whoever has hurt you, whoever has done something, some wrong to you, whether it has done it or not, but otherwise if you believe that yes, you have, you have been hurt, the better thing is just to forgive the person and go forward. Meditation, yes, a very nice thing to learn. You have to practice to get trained for it. So I will request that you attend some meditation program, learn it. I have been doing it since last so many decades and uh, it is one of the instrument, personal instrument which you can use it any time. Just it gives you peace of mind, it makes you happy. Tratak, Tratak means you keep looking at a particular object. Like here, the sadhak is just looking at some sort of lamp, some candle. You just see the posture. And you have to sit for considerable time, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And you have to keep the distance of about 1.5 to 2 feet away from that object. There are certain other tools also which we have in every religion. Firstly, understand the concept of God that yes, God is there. Service to all beings. If you keep helping others, then that means you are helping God. 
upgrade your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual quality and strengthen your family and society. The whole world is one family. That is what we say, Vasu Dhaiva Kutumba Kama. Whole world is one family. We have been saying it since centuries beyond. Even before Vedic time. Pray. Pray for health and happiness of all beings. If somebody does a real work on spirituality, then positivity in life increases, peace and happiness goes up. You are capable to control pain. If law, belief in laws of come become stronger and if you really start believing in it, then the per perhaps when the death comes nearer, you will not mind it. You will just say, okay, fine. Now it is a time to suffer, suffer or whatever. It is it's a time to accept death happily, smilingly, because it is a law of karma. Gratitude, psychologically got to be stronger. Understand causes of pain and uncomfortable. Life is not limited in one life. It is an infinite journey to every soul of life. That is what we believe in Hinduism. That is no, this is the end of physical body that remains here on this world. Otherwise, the soul just goes away and after some time it comes back to this world again. We are immortal. V means body is mortal. V means our soul is immortal. Thank you.